Hi, it's Barbara, and welcome back to another episode of Can I Recreate It in Elementor? I haven't done one of these in a while, so if you're new here, in this series, I take a look at websites with interesting design elements, and I see if I can recreate those using the Elementor page builder. And today we have a really fun one. I came across this website the other day. It's called Romanoli, Romanoli, I don't speak Italian, I'm probably really mispronouncing the name, but I really like their website. It is an Italian shoe company, they sell shoes for children, and I thought that they had a really cool product page. I really like how they handled their images. They have these cool animated images for all of their products, and it really draws attention to what they're trying to sell. I wanted to see if I can recreate this effect using the Elementor page builder. There are a few different ways that we could tackle this, but I wanted to make this very approachable because I know that most people watching this probably don't know how to animate. They don't know how to create these types of graphics. So I wanted to do it in a way that could be easy for even a beginner that's using Elementor. That's kind of how I like to do all of the tutorials on this channel. So if you're not subscribed and you are a beginner Elementor user, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we publish new tutorials here every week. When I was trying to come up with ways to best tackle recreating this, I thought that we could use the Lottie widget and an image widget. And with the image, we would position it so it's over top of the Lottie animation. So we'd have to do some negative margins or absolute positioning in order to achieve that. But that's something that we can do pretty easily within Elementor. Now with the image, we do need to make sure that it has a transparent background. This won't work if you have a background on your image because you won't be able to see the animation behind it. So you will have to cut out any backgrounds of your image and make sure that they are transparent. Now you might be thinking, I don't know how to create Lottie animations, but you're in luck because you can go to Lottie files and download a lot of these cool, simple animations for free. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to find a Lottie file that looks similar to what we have going on on this site. It's not going to be exact because I'm pretty sure that they custom created this whole graphic, but we can get something that is pretty close. And if you aren't an animator, this is a really great option for you. I love Lottie Files. They have so many cool animations and there's people that are contributing to this website all the time. So they always have new things. So definitely check it out because you can do a lot with Lottie Files and the Lottie widget built into Elementor. I did a search on Lottie Files and I downloaded something that looks kind of similar to what they have on this website. So I'm going to use that for this tutorial. And I also downloaded some images from Pexels that I'm going to cut the background out of. So we have that transparent background. So I've done all of that. And now it's time to try to put this together. I'm going to open up my page in Elementor. And the first thing that I'm going to drag over into this column is a Lottie widget. And from there, I'm just going to upload my Lottie file that I've downloaded. I'm going to make sure that it is set to loop so the animation continuously loops through so we don't have it stop at any point. It's just going to continue to repeat over and over. I'm also going to slightly adjust the size of the Lottie just so it fits a little bit better on the page. Next, I'm going to drag over an image widget and set the image to one that I've uploaded with a transparent background, so this sneaker. The next thing I have to do is position this image on top of the Lottie. So what I'm going to do is go to advance and then adjust the margin. So the top margin, I'm going to actually do a negative margin so that it goes over top of the Lottie. And you can see that it achieves a pretty cool effect when I do this. So we are able to achieve this effect pretty easily within Elementor. But 
I want to go a step further and create this as a single product template that we can use for WooCommerce. Because if we go back to our example site, that's kind of what they're doing here. They're using this on their product pages, which is more than likely some sort of template. I don't think they're building the site in Elementor, but we can achieve the same effect with our site. So I'm going to go to my templates now and edit with Elementor my single product template. I've already started to create this. I have my information regarding my product. I have the ability for people to add it to the cart. Now I want to create that same effect that I created on just a regular page in here. I'm going to drag over my Lottie widget and set that up. And then underneath, instead of dragging over just a regular image, I'm actually going to drag over the product image widget that we have for WooCommerce. What this does is it dynamically brings in whatever you set for your product image when you add products to WooCommerce. So no matter what image you upload for your products, it can always have this cool Lottie animation in the background. Again, if we're using this template, we want to make sure that whatever product images we upload to WooCommerce have that transparent background. That's the only way that this will work correctly. But this is definitely something that you can use as a product page template and not just use for a regular page. So it's pretty cool. So that's it for today's tutorial. I really love doing these recreate videos because they're definitely challenging. It gets me to think outside the box and come up with some cool effects. If there's a site that you really like and you wanna see if I can recreate it in Elementor, leave a comment down below and I'll check it out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.